appreciate it if you'd go there and follow and like our page. It helps us and gets the word out. And obviously doing the same on YouTube. So hit that thumbs up and then subscribe to our channel. We'd appreciate that. We're almost at 23,000 subscribers. We'd love to do that by the end of the year. You could help us do that. Share some of our videos with your friends and ask them to do the same. Okay? All right. So, bachata on Thursday night for Latin night. Here's what we ended up doing. We started with a basic. Remember that bachata is an easy dance. The basic rhythm stays the same. It's three steps and a touch over and over and over and over again. Uh, we gave you a little bit of tips on how to make it a little bit more stylish. Recognize that you're going to always step onto a bent leg. When you step onto a bent leg, it gives you the look that you're going for. And this is three steps and a touch over and over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Followers, ladies, remembering that when you're doing any dance, if you keep the basic timing and rhythm of that dance, your new leaders are going to be better because you're helping keep the cadence. So when we say follow, you're not supposed to be following the basic rhythm of a dance. You're supposed to follow all of the extra stuff. You're not following the basic rhythm of the dance. You're doing that on your own, making it easier for your leader to take you through all the patterns that he knows. He's a new dancer, remember, right? If we do this in an open position, we can have both hands. We can do lunch tray. I typically, and I do both depending on the pattern I'm gonna lead next, but I sometimes will take my thumbs and put them in the lady's palms and have my fingers around the outside. And so we have different control with that depending on the kinds of moves we're doing. So we took the lady into a closed position after practicing the basic and we went one, two, three, touch four. And then from here we did what's called a 180. So I'm gonna have Liz step around my right foot for five, six, seven, touch eight. So from the other side, this goes one, two, three, four, move her around my foot, six, seven, eight. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's called a 180. The next movement that we did, we took the lady for a walk. In Latin, we would call this hand to hand. This goes one, two, three, four, and we go five, six, open out seven. Don't forget to do your touch on eight. So five, six, open out on seven, touch on eight. I wanna do that going the other direction. So we go one, two, three, touch four, five, six, seven, touch eight. Don't forget your touch. From here, the follower doesn't realize that you want her to walk forward because that's not the basic action of the dance. So I have to lead that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my left hand and I'm gonna make her take a step prior to me ever moving my foot. So I'm like, hey, we're gonna go forward. So my hand is indicating I need her to go forward. Once she gets on the foot, I'm going to take that hand through and flip it all the way around so that she turns and faces backward with me. And once again, we're just keeping the basic rhythm. So when we got to the eight, which was a touch, I'm going to take her for a walk and go one, two, three, touch four. Now there's nothing telling the follower that she shouldn't just go ahead and face you and close up to do the basic if you just do this so lightly that she thinks, oh, we're coming out right now, back to a basic action. So instead, you'll notice that my hand goes past the center line. So instead of my hand stopping on the center line, which makes her face me, my, I take her for a walk and my hand goes past the center line and I get her to flip all the way to backwards. That's one, two, three, four. From here, I need to take her for a walk again. So we're gonna do that same action going back the other way. So this doesn't happen right now. I gotta get her to take the walking step first. So this goes five, six, past the center line again seven, eight, back to the touch on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and close this up and then I'll flip it around and show the other view on the video. But we get here five, six, seven, eight. Once again, going back to our basic timing, we're gonna take three steps and a touch. So now my hand's gonna stop on the center line. One, two, three, touch, four. Still keeping our basic cadence. It feels weird that you're doing that because you're moving to your right. So that's the opposite foot that you leaders are accustomed to doing that on opposite foot that the followers are used to doing that on. So you really have to stick to your cadence there. Now we're ready for the second half of the basic, which is five. For me, that's my right foot, for her it's her left. And we go five, six, seven, eight, and we're back to the basic one, two, three, four, yes? Now if we do this the other way, this goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, touch eight, one, two, three, touch four, walk, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, touch four, five, six, seven, eight. It always helps a whole lot when you leaders are really pronounced when you do your touch. So the follower picks up that rhythm and ends up doing that non-transfer of weight action with you. 
So if you guys are a little bit of a run-on sentence through there, she's happy to be a run-on sentence with you, and that's not what you're after. So always really focusing on doing that touch. Now, from this angle, check this out. We go one, two, three, 180, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And back to the basic and any other patterns that you know, right? Thank y'all so much for coming out tonight. We appreciate you. Every Thursday, we're doing a Latin lesson. Thank you, Liz. Thank y'all for watching. Hit that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. We're trying to reach 23,000 subscribers before the end of the year, okay? Thank y'all so much for coming out. Damien, I'll play a bachata for y'all.